Hello and welcome back to the Ace Attorney, where justice is for all, as a matter of fact. Uh, including you, including me. Uh, but not Matt on guard. Is that his name? It's kind of been getting the short end of the stick recently. We're about to help prove him innocent. It's been a hot minute since I've played. We are dead ass in the middle of a of a uh, uh, d uh, defense. That's what it's called in the uh, lawyer world, I think. If I'm not mistaken, of course. All right, there has to be something I can use to figure it out. It out. Ah, I see the game is uh, also having trouble with words as I am. There has to be something I can use to figure out it out. Good thing he didn't say that out loud. Am I right? Sounds like just another tidbit of gossip, doesn't it? But you can't just ignore it either. It makes your client look bad either way. Well, I don't think I heard anything really out of the ordinary just now. There has to be something we can catch her on. Yeah, and when I find it, I'm going to press the heck out of it. The heck out of it. Uh, okay, so let's review what we have, and hopefully I can piece together. Of course, I also have my handy-dandy guide off to the right of me, which I will probably definitely use at some point, because I do not remember all the, uh, all the story beats. That on God is one evil, evil man. He thought he could ruin Paul Watt by causing a huge scandal. So to do that, he sent his own manager to get in close with one. I cannot condone such dirty tricks, so I took action. Oh, and this is top secret, you got that? Nobody else but you and me know yet, okay? Just saying that in front of the court. It's kind of, uh... Kind of weird. What do we know? What could we possibly know? What, I'm a busy woman. Tea time with the kids is over. It's over. Secret information that no one else knows yet? What the hell? If that's true, then how do you know the secret information? Huh? Well, that's because I'm a pro. Yes, that's it. It's a secret. Even if you drill the hole in my brain, you wouldn't be able to figure it out. You'll never find out. How in the world did that old hag get such a secret piece of information? I want to press further. That sounds very sus, vicious. If you don't be a good girl and tell me where you got this information, I'm going to have to give you a little spanking. You won't get to go home today. Um... Edgy Boo, what are you doing? Help me. What do I have to do with this? Just do this for me. You'll get your reward. I don't want your reward, but you don't leave me much of a choice. The witness could have gotten her information from anywhere. It's even possible that it was spontaneously made up inside the witness's head. And he lectures me on reckless ba blab blab blabbering. As long as we don't know where this information came from, it's quite a waste of time to focus on this line of questioning. Where did Old Bag get her inside information? There has to be something I can use to figure it out. Sounds like just another tidbit of gossip, doesn't it? But you can't ignore it either. It makes your client look bad either way. Either, either. Well, I don't... Uh, we already read this. It has to be something we can catch her on. Yeah, and when I fire, I'm gonna press the hacker on her. We already did press the hack out of it. What do you mean? Also, I'm going to, uh... Okay. Uh... Right, so... I did, in fact, just look at the guide. Just so you know. Just so we're honest here. We're honest unlike Miss Old Bag. And now I know what to do. Because I would be hopelessly lost if I didn't. It's been, sheesh, some like three weeks. 
because I was playing Stray the whole time. Go check it out if if you if, if it's your thing. I'm even wearing the same blue shirt from the final episode of of that series because I'm recording this immediately afterward to fill out the week. That's a pretty cool bit of information, huh? Anyways, secret information that no one else knows yet. Uh. How do you know this info? Oh, that's a secret. Let's present evidence. No one else is supposed to know the secret information, correct? If that's true, then why do you know it, Miss Oldberg? Why are you looking at me like that? Stop that. Witness? I, I hate to say it, but this is how you came to acquire your secret info, isn't it? It would be the camera that she stole! I kind of forgot that was a thing. And I wasn't going to be, like, half-assed to look for it either. <laughs> uh, the investigative photographer, Lotta Hart. Oh, yes, I remember that mischievous little girl. <laughs> I'm right here! She reported that she had lost a certain note she had written to herself. She reported such a thing? To who? On that piece of paper. That's where she reported it to. She had written down some of her outrage ah, impressions about the relationship between the victim and Miss Andrews. What? Outrageous ideas, you say? Actually, I didn't say that. I corrected myself. No, 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 I, I said impressions. You know, two very similar words. Then, then, then everything written on this piece of paper is completely meaningless? Ah, that's it. That's the note. But this gun? This gun can't be a note. Ah, no, you see, this is something completely different. This is my top secret list of groceries to buy. Number one on the list, knife. Hmm, and you are the one who took Miss Hart's note. I'm just a huge fan of wands, that's why. Did I miss something? That infamous puffy-haired whippersnapper. I, like, right-clicked my mouse. I feel like I accidentally skipped something. She is working with that evil on god, she said to so herself. On God, I'm his sidekick. She was so happy, smiling like a silly duck. I was only checking what she had written. <laughs> Man, Phoenix's look of complete and utter disbelief here. Everyone's complete and utter look of disbelief. And she hides right back inside the astronaut helmet. Edgy Pooh, you believe me, don't you? I was only trying to help out like the angel I am. It's only one little piece of paper. I've never taken anything else before. You really should come with a supply of cheese to match your vintage wine. Well, it was only a piece of paper. I suppose we can overlook this just this once. She looks like she's really sorry, does she? Should I forgive her? <sighs> no. No, we shouldn't. Apply a lot more pressure. If I let up on her now, she'll get away. I have to find some way to inflict a deafening blow to the prosecution. Witness? You said that the only thing you stole was that note. Is this correct? Still, why don't you listen more carefully, you annoying brat? I saved this piece of paper from a terrible, lonely trash can, that's all. You're lying, damn it! Whoa, Phoenix! Calm down. This is rated E for everyone, I think. Probably not. It's a game with murder, so probably not. E10, maybe. I can prove it with this. Hold it. Are you putting my credibly credibility under scrutiny again? Miss Oldbag? 
I don't believe that the note is the only thing you stole that night. Was it the actual camera? <laughs> I feel like it was the actual camera. Miss Old Bag? That note was with a camera inside its case, wasn't it? Our camera? Yesterday, Lotta Hart was raising a huge stink over her camera. It was really smelly. She kept saying something like, My s my sweetie's $1,600 camera disappeared on me. Why? Why? Whiteness? Whiteness? What is it, Goyams? Shut the hell up. If you have the note, then it is only logical that you have the camera, too. It looks like you found me out again, Sonny. Is this the camera you're looking for? Pow! Ah, that's... What? Even though I look like this, I'm still a puss, and you know. I still eat meals like you. I fall in love and borrow things from people. Oh, um, I think your definition of borrow is a little off. Especially if you have the... Uh quotations around it. Well, I saw that woman's business card, and that's when I noticed and said, Slime bag celebrity photographer extraordinaire. That's SCP for short, Skippy. Well, well when I saw that, I had to take so uh, I had to know what sort of pictures she had taken. Naughty, naughty pictures. I'm a professional security guard. It's my business to know these things. Bailiff, check this camera's photos. Hurry. We must examine them at once. Ah. Ah. Ha, ha, ah. Well, Mr. Edgeworth, what do we have? There's only one photo that seems to be relevant to this case. Of course, it's always only one photo, isn't it? Please present it to the court. It's this very smudgy photo of... This is the Nickel Samurai. See, I told you. That's the guy I saw. This proves that the witness was not lying earlier about the matter. Didn't we have some sort of thing where, like... Granny was lying about what kind of kind of pants the nickel samurai had on. This is uh, this is very interesting. There's proves that the witness was not lying earlier about this matter. Damn it! What does all this mean, Mr. Edgeworth? Please explain it to me in my one brain cell. This photo by itself does not prove that the person in it is the defendant. However, in his own confession, Mr. On Guard clearly stated that at the time of the murder, he was still in his Nickel Samurai costume. If that's the case, then this Nickel Samurai is... Precisely, he's the Nickel Samurai, <laughs> the defendant. How did it come to this? I think this brings us to the end. We have examined every piece of evidence thoroughly. Final comments, Mr. Wright? The court will consider them before we close. How about give us another day? Do you agree that this photo is decisive evidence against your client? Yes, I will agree. If this photo really is decisive, then we're done for. If I can raise an objection here and blow it, uh, then I would put Maya's life in jeopardy. Let's save it real quick. Before things happen. Very bad things. Very bad things. Very bad things. Uh, I can't make a mistake here. There's only one road out of this mess. This photo that Lotta took, there's something strange with it. Has to be something strange with it. Probably, hopefully. Uh, there's something strange with this photo. I knew this was coming, right? Did you? Your thoughts, Mr. Edgeworth? He's clearly lying. I think we can all agree there is nothing strange with this photo. 
There is no way for the defense to debunk this photo, even with a bunker buster. That's my <laughs> signature pro wrestling move, the bunker buster. Debunk with a bunker buster? Is that what you're try planning to do, Mr. Wright? No, that's Edgeworth's famous move. Mine is the hold, the, the, the head hold submission. But head hold it, hold it. I yell that out while I do it. Um, anyway, please look at the photo one more time. If you really believe you can honestly find something wrong with this photo, then you should only need one chance, correct? No. I had to need multiple chances. <laughs> uh, um, well, I have to find something wrong with this photo. I can't let this chance go by. Where in the heck did she take this photo from anyway? It's all out of focus. Why can't she take a good shot, especially when it counts? Now then, let's hear your objection. What about this photo is strange? Um. Okay. So what we know about Let's look at the hallway first, because there are a lot of flowers. Um, there are flowers on each side of the door. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that means that was the, Matt's side, because Juan Corda's side had all the teddy bears. So the samurai is walking from his room to go to Juan's room. Uh, I assume E present is like F. I have to clearly point. Can I not look at my evidence? Why am I? Uh, what the flip? What the, what the, what the heck? What the sizzle? Uh, this is clearly a mask. It's the hairstyle? I don't think so. I remember him having like the, the gear arm. Is the Hakama different? Got like waves and Mount Fuji something. Uh. Oh. Uh, is it really the pants? I feel like that's my first inclination is the pants. Wait a minute. There's a teddy bear right here Hold on a minute. I see that there's a teddy bear right there Hold on <laughs> I'm gonna go with the teddy bear see how we do The strange thing is somewhere around here. I think uh oh somewhere around here I think Am I seeing something you all are not? Okay, so it wasn't the teddy bear. All right. Well, say so there was no, no, no. Stop it. Stop. Stop it. All right, definitely our one chance to find the thing. All right, let's go and save a little closer because I feel like I'm going to be doing this multiple times. But also, while we're right here, I want to look at the gosh dang samurai. I want to look at this. Okay, so his, we got the gear arm. The mask looks good, although it doesn't have pupils. I'll keep that in mind. We have the symbol up here. His hair is in fact back in a ponytail thing. There's a shoulder guard up here. Very spiky shoulder guard. Got a staff on him. Uh, his Hakama is, in fact, with the splashing waves in the mountain. Uh, we got the... I forget what you call these. The the samurai feetsies. Got the got the rope belt. Giant arm. Uh, red pendant. Okay. I think I got this memorized, hopefully. I'm going to try this one more time. And then if it doesn't work, we'll do it next time on Hunky Hour. But for right now... Yeah, we gotta see. Oh, this photo is strange. Uh. Okay, so that. Yeah, that. His eyes, yep. Alright, his hair looks good. Uh, door. 
The door is shut behind him. Uh, gear arm is... Can't really see it, so I guess that's not a thing. Uh... Uh, 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 it's like nothing wrong with the samurai itself, so it has to be in the hallway, right? Maybe it's the door back here? Like, maybe by looking at the door, it's like the wrong end of the hallway. Maybe that's like the room that goes to the press conference room. Let's do it. Ah, damn it. Well, we failed here, but... That's all right. Next time, we'll get it right. Until then, I'll see you later. Bye.